Hey guys, today we are going to look at constructing scatter plots and then we are going to determine its associations. So you're going to be given a table of values and then we're going to plot the data um, because it's helpful to determine if there are any associations or correlations or trends. And the associations we're going to look for are positive, negative, or none. And then if it's linear or non-linear. So let's look at this first example. We're going to plot this data in the table and then after we have it plotted on the graph, that will help us determine if any associations exist. So I'm gonna take a minute to plot all of these points. Okay, I have all of the data plotted now, and I can see that in general, these points are going up. So as the height increases, so does a person's arm span, which makes sense. So let's write that over here. So as the height increases, so does the arm span. And in general, our data was going up. So this would be a positive association. And in general, this is in the shape of a line. So it would also be linear. Okay, let's look at the second one. We're talking about the number of turns and miles driven. So I'm gonna take a minute to plot these points. Okay, so I plotted the points and I am really not seeing any sort of relationship between the number of turns and the miles driven. So I'm just gonna write about that over here. There is no association between the number of turns and miles driven. Okay, let's look at our last one. We are looking at the number of hours on YouTube and the number of hours on the schoolwork. So let's plot these points and see if there's any relationship. Okay, and I think I am seeing a relationship here. It looks like we are going down. So in general, the more time, more hours on YouTube, the less hours on schoolwork. So let's sum that up over here. So as the hours on YouTube increases, the hours on schoolwork decreases. So that is going to be a negative association, which we can also see in the graph, it's going down. And also in general, this is in the shape of a line. So this would be linear. <laughs> 